Hey guys, Greg Denny. You know, I love to I love to travel. We're in Austria now. We were just in Germany. Before that, we're over in Morocco. Love to meet people and, and meet, you know, complete strangers, strike up conversations and love to, to meet people online and people wherever we travel. I just I love people and I love learning from them and, and growing. Every once in a while though, I'll meet somebody and they'll say something just kind of out there and and, and kind of like Huh? <laughs> one of those, one of those things like, what? And, it, and it's so off and and kind of odd. And, and I often think to myself, because I love to read, let me, let me back up here. I've been studying personal development for 21 years. At peak performance, I've been reading the lives and studying the lives of great men and women, uh, classics in history and in scripture and, and, and just meeting with great people, you know, people who are going after excellence and greatness. And and so I'll, I'll hear something, I think, ah, oh, man, you know, if you'd read this or if you understood that, you wouldn't be doing those things. And and these are things that that are self sabotaging, things that that really make you stumble and fall in life. And 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 some of those things where you see people struggle over and over and over. And it's like, man, if if they only understood that principle, if they only only understood that idea, it would bring so much more success and happiness in their life and relieve so much of their their struggles and and problems. Um, and so I, I want to invite you and myself, I, and I, I live by this, to always ask yourself, says who? You know, when you, when you have an idea, when you have a thought, when when somebody presents an idea to you, maybe social conditioning, uh, just say, whoa, 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 says who? Says where does that come from? You know, question your ideas, question your life, question your actions and habits. Really start to think, you know, kind of take take out off your limits and say, oh, wait a minute, why do we do that? Why do, why do we do this in this country? Why do we do this in, in this faith? And why do we do this in this community? And in this uh, social group, in this uh, um, economic group, right? Just look at it and say, well, wait a minute. Why do we do those things? And I, I want to invite you and challenge you to always measure your life and your ideas and your beliefs against a standard. Pick, pick a high standard, right? Pick, pick something great. Uh, use the scriptures, use history, study history, you know, learn from it, love it, study great classics, learn from these great books, the, the better, best and brightest thinkers and leaders of all time. We have access to their words and their teachings, all these great religious books. I mean, there, there's so much we don't have to make all the mistakes ourselves, right? But we will unless we learn. Unless we learn how to do that. So basically, I want to take, want to challenge you is like, okay, take your whole life, your actions, your habits. Why do I do what I do? Why do I think what I think? Why do I believe what I believe? And measure that against some great standard. And if you'll do that in life, and, and as people present new ideas or you have new ideas, it's okay, wait a minute, I'm willing to think through this. It's a little out there. Maybe, maybe it's pretty different from everything I've thought before, but let's bring it in, let's measure it. Let's think through this. It's like uh, Earl Nightingale used to say, put it on a, like a rotisserie chicken and take this idea and spin it around and see every side of it and think through it and measure it against that standard and say, would excellent people do this? Or, or is this something that mediocre people believe? Right? Is, is, is this a habit that phenomenal people do, great leaders have in their lives? Or is this a habit that's going to bring a lot of heartache and struggle and misery into my life? And measure against those high standards. Too many people are going through life without any help. They don't get help from the great books and the great ideas and the great speeches and the great thinkers. So I want to challenge you to do that, okay? Measure those ideas. And, and as you find and learn new things and make those changes, be bold and, and say, well, this is, what, this is what great people do. This is what I'm going to become a great person. So I'm going to make those changes. I'm going to change some beliefs. I'm going to change some habits. I'm going to change some actions. And I promise awesome things will happen, okay? Now, if, if you like these videos, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Jump over to my Facebook page, Greg Denning. Uh, hit the like button and, and get subscribed so I can send you daily inspiration. If you want more about personal leadership and, and getting on this path to greatness, visit worldschoolacademy.com and sign up for my leadership series. You're going to love it. It's awesome. Reach upward.